think as a Brit, I'm fundamentally unable to be happy about the weather regardless of what it's doing. Today was meant to be a bit of a wet, showery one, and although it was raining a little bit when I drove over, it's now cleared up. Uh, which is normally great and normally exactly what I want, but today I was looking forward to the rain and had planned this video around it, this video and the photography. Um, I was going to go for some really nice freeze action rain with some, yeah, nice birds, hopefully nice and sharp in the foreground. But alas, I'll do that another day. I think I've got here now a place called Herdsman Lake, big fan of this place. Um, just behind me is a uh, lot of flood water. Um, so I'm going to go and play over there and see if I can get some nice reflections. Um, yeah. So along with not having um, the right weather today, I've also left my tripod at home, which is very handy, uh, especially recording a vlog. Uh, I've also forgotten the microphone attachment, so apologies for the audio in this video. Um, it's going to be pretty windy and pretty crap. Today's not the day. Today is not the day. Having said all that, I don't think you can see on the GoPro, but behind me we've got loads of flood water. We've got loads of um, black swans, which are going to make a really nice subject. Uh, because the weather's crap, no one's here again, which I love. Um, just lets me really play and, and be me, uh, which is great. Uh, I'm currently using a tree as a tripod uh, to hold this GoPro up, and it seems to be working quite well. So I might just bounce from tree to tree today, and we'll see how that goes. So, I'm just making sure I'm not being, well I am, I'm being surrounded by uh, swans now, which is always nice. As you can see, I'm now down on the ground. Um, it's very boggy, uh, I have a very wet crotch, and um, yeah, really need to invest in some waterproof trousers. There's so many willy wags around here as well. I'm such a big fan of flooded water. I just really like the glassy effect you get on the um, with the reflections. Especially here when you can see the lake behind and you can see the contrast between two water types, you would get a totally different type of reflection um, if you were using the, the lake. I would like a slightly different background to this bushy vegetation one behind it would be nice to have a real clear background uh, but I don't think I'm gonna get that from where I am today um, unless I go for a bit of a swim which I feel like I've already halfway done to be honest with you sadly I missed the preening shot which would have been lovely just the the bird flapping the this one really spreading its wings. Um, I just didn't get enough of that reflection in the water, which is really silly of me. Um, we live and learn. I just made that mistake often. I literally can't be near water without getting absolutely soaked. It's just impossible for me. So I've just rocked up to um, my second location. Uh, it's just a little bit further along the lake. This is normally where I come in the evenings uh, and I've got quite a lot of flood water shots in the past. So I may, depending on the light, come back here later on and um, 
yeah do do a bit more then but we'll just go out and see i've had a little scope round already there definitely are lots of flooded areas and there are lots of i say lots there's a few birds knocking around on that flooded area um sadly the wind is picking up though uh, which isn't ideal because obviously that makes ripples and that ruins the whole point of the reflections. Um, so yeah, we shall see how it goes. I don't think I've ever seen as many coots as there are right now in front of me. Um, I don't know if you'll get this on the GoPro. The path is absolutely littered with them. Oh, that's lovely now, the sun's coming out. I feel so overdressed in this beanie. The other great thing about using flood water to shoot off is that you can get really, really low. Um, there's gonna be no bank or anything, you can get right down to it, um, which means you can get eye level to the bird, which is gonna make much more interesting and engaging photos. It does mean you end up stinking like flood water but oh damn this that's just part of it i've got a coot in front of me here um who's you know may not be the most exciting uh, of birds but i love the monochrome look they have you can get some nice if they behave get some nice shots of the eye uh, we've also got quite a few is that gopro about to fall maybe I've got loads of welcome swallows just um, flying past here, which now the sun's out, I might try and get a few, but I'm not very optimistic. That's so fast. Maybe, we'll see. If you are someone who struggles to get down or you know, the ground is too saturated, or even if there is a bank and you just want to get a little bit lower, a lot of cameras these days do have the tilty screen, um, which is such a good way of getting down to ground level. You can, I tentatively hold that, um, if I'm not using a tripod, and then I can just look down directly over and you can get much lower down to the ground without actually being in it. Which reminds me, sorry Lauren, our car is going to absolutely stink of pond water. Sadly, the wind started picking up quite badly after that, so the reflections I was going for on the flood water didn't really happen. Um, I did get a few more images of the coot. They're nothing special, but um, you can't win every day. I'm going to put some images up that I've taken at Herdsman previously uh, when it's been flooded uh, just to give you an example of the kind of thing that I was going for and the kind of thing you can achieve when the light is right. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed filming it. Um, yeah, a lot of fun, so I'll definitely be doing uh, another vlog style video very soon. Please, if you do like it, enjoy it, watch, like, subscribe, the whole shebang, you know it by now. Um, this is a very new channel, uh, so I appreciate all the love. See you next time. What was that?